Hi everybody, it's me, Pinky. I have not been over to this channel in the very longest of times. Um, things have been going crazy over on my other channel. I have uh, some type of maniac over on that side I've been dealing with for a few days. and My daughter and her man were here for about three weeks. and They left and I've got a ton of stuff to do in there in that pink room uh, for Olivia. I uh, got her a new hanging rack today. I'm going to hang up all her clothes and get her all situated again. The house it was like a tornado had hit it. And it's been about three days I've been just plugging away trying to get it done. And one of my, one of my girlfriends that owes me a few bucks is going to come over and work some money off. And that'd be awesome. Uh, one, because I doubt I'll ever get the money. And two, because I could use the help. <laughs> um, mm. Darn it, I wanted to show you all that awesome dollhouse that I got, and it's in there in the kitchen. No, no, stop. These two, I mean, this is what they do. Every time they see me come in here and sit down to make a video, they start this crap. But the reason I'm here, I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of, oh, I've done this, and I've done that kind of bullshit. <laughs> I want to share with you um, a, a program that I am enjoying to the max, okay? Um, how I heard about it was that I'm subscribed to this girl called Vintage or Tacky. And uh, she's a real neat gal. She dresses like all 40s, 50s, 60s. She she loves to dress in different eras, okay? And, uh, and she's great at it. She's got a beautiful wardrobe and fantastic wardrobe. And she also sews her own vintage clothes. What I like about her is she's a normal woman. She's not over-the-top, major, gorgeous. And she is not uh, skinny as a rail. She's not a model. She's just a regular, everyday woman that wears a lot of vintage clothes and loves vintage clothes and ha does her makeup beautifully and can do any hairstyle that you can imagine. She's probably done it, any of the vintage ones, you know. She's excellent. She's an excellent teacher, and she even sewed, a, I think, a couple of at least two dresses online step by step to teach people how to um, kind of go step by step and show people how to put a dress together which was fantastic. I sew and I know that it's just about getting to be a lost art and um, she sewed two beautiful from vintage patterns and I also collect vintage patterns so that really uh, inspired me to get my patterns out and start doing some sewing for myself. Uh, because I love vintage clothes and I've got a lot of them. I don't wear them as much as I probably should because I live in a very isolated place. But the, the day will come when you know I'll be able to use them and, and enjoy them. But anyway, what she what happened was she did a series of hairstyles from this program that I've gotten hooked on called Mad Men. Mad Men and and uh, she did the hair series. I'm looking for the remote because I want to tell you the uh, facts on it. She did the hairstyles, and she said they were, you know, inspired by Mad Men, and by the show Mad Men, the women of Mad Men. And uh, so I found it on Netflix, and I'd seen it a few times, and I thought, oh, I'll go watch it. And then I saw that they had new episodes up, and I thought, well, I probably better go watch it, because sometimes they'll get, you know, they'll get rid of a series if somebody doesn't watch them all, and if they're putting up new episodes, I don't want to get started and miss out, so... I jumped on the bandwagon to go watch Mad Men, and they have 60-some-odd um, episodes. I'm on episode 53. I've actually watched all... I'm trying to get the information. Um, I've actually watched all the, the episodes once, and now I'm going back through and watching them again. It is, I believe, five seasons. Yeah, five seasons, 64 episodes. Um... And, God, I just love this 